Minister of Tertiary Education for six or seven years, and he still gets excited when he stands in a lecture theatre. I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, wonderful to see you all here. Can I acknowledge uh, Toa for the Mihi? Can I acknowledge Jenny McMahon, uh, Chair of the Healthy Alive's uh, Governance Group? Professor Jim Mann, great to see you. Professor Sonny Collings, uh, of the Dean of the University of Otago Medical School here in Wellington, and members of the Governance Group uh, and everybody here this morning. You're all looking fabulous. Um, but I noticed that this is a colloquium where we're going to discuss stuff, and you've sort of adopted the traditional New Zealand 21st birthday formation, where everybody sits up the back. Uh, um, so could we just have the back three rows, if you wouldn't mind standing for a second. This is my contribution to the colloquium. If you could stand, that'd be great. If you could come down closer to the front, that'd be tremendous. Excellent. Come on down. That'd be great. For those of you that are attached to your computers that are plugged in, that might be an issue. Um, but for everyone else, that'd be really good. A bit further down, don't be afraid, not the sixth row. That's tremendous. Still got some holdouts. Um, that's much more like it. You see, that's a colloquium. A bit further down, come on, that's great. There you see, now we're looking more like a group of people that are going to talk to each other. That's fantastic. Actually, I have another contribution to make. Um, uh, that's right, keep coming down. Yes, there's more room down the front here. It's tremendous. Now I'm feeling like an usher. It's fantastic. <laughs> OK. Oh, well, thank you. Um, look, um, it's a thrill to come to this colloquium. I launched the, this challenge last December at the Otaku Marae, just out, of, uh, just out of Dunedin. And it was a wonderful, I think, for those of you that were there, it was a truly wonderful um, a celebration of the opportunity of this National Science Challenge and therefore delighted to have, as I say, the opportunity to come along here this morning and, and open this colloquium, colloquium? I think corridor is much easier to say than colloquium. Anyway, it's, the whole idea is the objective of this, um, is this challenge is to reduce the burden of major New Zealand health problems and it promotes the prevention and treatment of four of New Zealand's main non-communicable diseases, cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes and obesity. Uh, and the challenge has come together with a relatively small but very engaged group of stakeholders. So the purpose of today's event is to sort of widen that out a little bit uh, and involve some people who haven't yet been involved uh, in the challenge. And uh, it's great to see a number of different groups here today. I went and had a look through the list, uh, and it is definitely a wider group of stakeholders. The whole point of the challenges is to enlist a cross-disciplinary group of people to work in the same direction um, to achieve some goals that we're probably all, to some degree, working on separately. But this is the opportunity to say, what, how can we come together and how can we build on each other's work how can we look over each other's shoulders and see what's happening in different disciplines? And how can we uh, fortify that and add to that and make the achievement of these goals uh, uh, much, uh, more qu happen much more quickly? There's no doubt about it that, these, that the focus of this challenge is crucial to New Zealand's um, health future. Over the last 25 years, Kiwis have been living longer. Uh, our health generally has been improving. And we have been getting much better at preventing early death. But of course, there are still some issues of challenge, some big issues that come with that in terms of non-communicable diseases. In fact, 88% of health loss in New Zealand is now caused by non-communicable diseases. It's becoming increasingly common for people in middle age to be living with chronic disease, which of course, as we know, limits their quality of life. And as we get older, we're more likely to have chronic diseases affect us simultaneously, and that starts to cause more complex health problems, and they can become much harder to deal with. So this challenge is all about solving uh, those challenges. And I'm pleased to report that I've been watching it closely since it was launched, and it's already been busy. It has the five flagship programs, which you're going to hear more about today. 
It's been co-designing and evaluating with Māori and Pacifica communities a healthy lifestyle program that makes better use of technology. I'm going to refer back to that in a minute. It uh, is using circulating tumour DNA biomarkers to improve detection and treatment for colorectal cancer and melanoma, improving the prediction of cardiovascular disease and diabetes for Māori and Pacifica and Indian subcontinent peoples, establishing the factors that will make health interventions work better for Māori communities and capitalising on New Zealand's health data through the Virtual Health Information Network to answer a wide range of research questions. And there's a whole lot in that, uh, but a big part of uh, living uh, healthier lives is, of course, living healthier lives. Um, and I was pleased to report this morning that I am making my small contribution in this, in this matter because I was standing in Auckland Airport minding my own business, as you do, and this gentleman who I've never seen before popped up and tapped me on the shoulder and says, Minister, I need to thank you. And I said, why is that? And he said, uh, well, because I am actually uh, a bit healthier than I was a couple of months ago. And I said, well, this is good, but I don't think I've got anything to do with this. He says, no, 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 you absolutely do. He says, one of the national science challenges you were at, you were talking about your Fitbit and the contribution that it has made to your improving health. I said, well, that's true. Actually, I did at the Aging Well Science Challenge launch. I was um, making a small public display of vanity by uh, saying that I had lost nine kilos as a result of wearing a Fitbit. And um, he said, yes, well, my wife went out and bought me one immediately afterwards. <laughs> and now I am um, on the path to losing weight and getting healthier. So I thought that was marvellous. And I thought it was an appropriate little story to have uh, to come down here this morning because uh, so much of this is actually literally living um, healthier lives. So this challenge has formed a partnership with the Ministry of Health and the Health Research Council to offer $8 million of contestable funding over three years for research into long-term conditions. It has established a collaborative centre which is bringing together non-communicable disease research capabilities in New Zealand and China, which I think is another part of these national science challenges, which is actually engaging internationally with like-minded um, research programs in other countries. And it has agreed ambitious targets with MB. For exam example, it aims to contribute to reducing morbidity and mortality from diabetes, cardiovascular disease, melanoma and colorectal cancer, and a reduction in the disparity between Māori and non-Māori in the burden of disease from, in particular, cardiovascular disease and diabetes. These are really important targets. And can I encourage district health boards, NGOs, government agencies, iwi, service providers, and all the other groups that are represented here today to work with the researchers in this room to make this stuff count? And can I encourage the scientists in the room to use this opportunity to work with the other parties that are involved in this uh, challenge so you can jointly realise the opportunities that come from this research. Can I also make a plea as well that when you're at the right point, which I would uh, suggest would be soon, uh, that you make sure you involve New Zealand's tech community uh, as well, because they will be able to help. We have a burgeoning and growing uh, group of tech companies, including in the health sector, and they are more than prepared to see if there are things that they can contribute to these challenges as well. Uh, and there's something like, uh, there's something, there's an extra dimension by adding in those sorts of people to help at an appropriate stage. You can help with co-design of interventions and things, particularly those that are encouraging uh, ongoing uh, health uh, improvements. Of course, uh, in the wider sense, uh, we're making a very significant investment in in not just health research funding, but in research generally. The government sees it is hugely important that we invest in science and innovation uh, for the improvement of New Zealand's social and health outcomes, but also for uh, improvement in our economic outcomes. It's having a very positive effect. We have literally hundreds and hundreds of companies up and down the country that are out there selling their stuff to the world. I was lucky enough to be in South America last week, and the number of New Zealand tech companies uh, that are present in uh, places as diverse as Bogota, uh, Lima and Santiago um, surprises me uh, constantly. They're all out there proving that Kiwis actually have an innovative, slightly lateral approach to the world's problems uh, that we can bring to bear in a whole range of industries. And in the health sector, I think that applies at least as much as anywhere else. So we can do this. We can make some very significant uh, differences. 
We've also, as part of that, invested quite significantly in health research with the announcement in the budget of $97 million more for health research uh, over the next four years uh, through the HRC. Uh, and uh, that's been received very well by the sector, which is good. But I think it's important that we make that count over the next four years. You can't always guarantee that research is going to achieve the outcomes you're seeking. But you can communicate where the research is up to and you can uh, make sure that people can see the progress along the path. And I think that's an opportunity that the science challenges can take up, as well as the working together, the collaborating across disciplines. I think the communication aspect of it's very important as well, to show people the journey we're on and how everything is contributing to building the path uh, to the outcomes that we're looking for. So with those thoughts, uh, that's really uh, my contribution for this morning. I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, the colloquium runs today. Uh, I think it's a very important time. It's a time to sort of bring more people. We've got the, this, this particular challenge has started well. We've got the snowball rolling, but it's time to add more snow and to turn it into a bigger snowball that rolls along and really starts to achieve uh, and achieve the momentum uh, that we're seeking uh, in this space. It's really important for New Zealand. It's really important in particular for our Māori and Pacifica communities. Um, so uh, uh, no pressure, um, but uh, do have a wonderful day and uh, look forward to hearing um, what's come out of it in terms of opportunities to work together and build on what's already happening. Thank you very, very much for having me here this morning. Cheers.